Ron Snatter just continues to keep taking L's. This is a story that came out July 13, 2018. He is now being dumped by uh, sports teams and schools all over the country that actually bared his name, the founder's name, John Snatter, since, uh, you know, all of this information from Forbes magazine came out about him using a racial slur during a conference call. So I'm going to go ahead and play this video from CBS News. There's a legal aspects to it, and we also want to be careful in thinking through. As the University of Louisville reviews its legal agreement with John Schnatter, some football players want Papa John's name off the football stadium. On Twitter, sophomore wide receiver Seth Dawkins tweeted, quote, we need to change the name of the stadium ASAP. I'm not here for it, end quote. Senior wide receiver Jalen Smith agreed, tweeting, he doesn't support the name, quote, at all, end quote. L's president says she's disappointed with Schnatter's use of the N-word. Disappointment for us, disappointment for him, that that's what he would say, and disappointment that at this day and age, unfortunately, that's... That's something that was said. Ben Deputy says she's working with the university's legal team to find out what options they have when it comes to the name on the stadium. These are contractual agreements with the company as well as him. So that's why I don't have a quick answer for you. We'll have to really take a look at it. Across the river, Papa John's legacy is also taking a hit. And I'm not going to allow that name with those comments to be attached to anything in the city of Jeffersonville. The Jeffersonville mayor removed Schnatter's picture from the wall of hometown heroes. His name was also removed from Mayhan Fieldhouse. Schnatter pledged to give $800,000 to save it. On Thursday, the mayor says he sent back a $400,000 check Schnatter had given. The $800,000 gift to the city of Jeff is enormous. But the city of Jeff's worth more than $800,000. It's not for sale. Okay, yeah. Uh, this is no ordinary coffee. It's single origin Kenyan coffee from the Miri High. You know, I'm not surprised by this. Papa John's has not done well since he tried to make the claim that the NFL was responsible for his poor sales and not taking responsibility that his pizza is just not good. But now, look, he's trying to redeem himself, and it's just not going to work. July 15th, 2018 is when this story came out. John Schnatter, Papa John doesn't want to do business with Roger Goodell. Now, wait a minute. You were talking against the NFL players saying they were responsible for your poor pizza sales. Now you want to cut ties with Roger Goodell now that everything is going down the drain for you? Where was this spirit a year ago? You know, see, ladies and gentlemen, this is all for money. This is all for money. You can best believe John Snatter will always have his hands in Papa John's. And this is why you should never, ever go back to this pizza joint at all. Now, he just resigned about a day ago. Now, here it is on the 15th. He's cutting ties with the NFL commissioner. This is why I don't believe the hype. He's going to always be around Papa John's in some type of capacity. I mean, after all, he's still the founder. But he's now trying to cut ties with him and, you know, and, and say that, you know, he no longer going to keep the relationship between him and Papa John's. So I'm not going to go through this whole article that came out but from NBC Sports, but I will leave the link to it in the description box. But, you know, this is just all about money and trying to save face. That's what this is about. If he really meant this, he would have done it when it would have made a difference. He's doing it now because... You know, he's being, everybody is cutting ties with Papa John's. 
a lot of, um, you know, people that he did business with are now cutting ties with them. And that's what this is all about. But he was against the NFL players kneeling last year and blaming them for everything. How about taking responsibility for the fact that your pizza tastes like cardboard? Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen, this fake out move. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, share the video, like the video. And wow, these people are so disingenuous for real. Peace, family.